I guess go back to the hundred. Um, how good did you feel on that? Uh, it looked like you looked smooth the whole way. Oh, oh yeah, it was good. Uh, I came out very relaxed and just kept moving through my race calm. And I kind of, my coach said I kind of, he kind of seen me kick at the end. But I, I thought I seen people up on the side of me, so I just pushed a little more and then just cruised in just so I can get a good spot in the finals. You were one hundredth of a second off the collegiate record. Did you know that, or did you even know it after the race? Uh, I know until I seen the time. I, I was very proud of it, but I really not trying to focus on it. Cause I know if I think about it, I'm gonna try to go after it. Right, right now, it's just all about trying to get to that line the first. The first was the two hundred. Was that a matter of just kind of waiting for your time, or you know, did you? Did you know that you could kind of kick it in like there at the end? Uh, I just heard my coach in the stands and I had to go, so I just went with it and trust, trusted my training that I can finish strong and it came through. Did you see the guys in front of you? I mean, did you know you had to you know, oh, kind of yeah, move it? I mean, yeah, I knew, I knew I had to go because if I didn't, it was going to get far apart. So I knew I just had to kick and come in strong. That's your best time ever, third, Baylor's third best time ever. Talk about that and, and again, you know, able to do that in the 200 as well. Oh, it's a humbling experience just to run that fast and just to run with these competitors. They're great runners and it's, I'm blessed to even run with them. Uh, we all blessed to be here today and compete and making it to the finals and just keep moving forward and track and field. There was a concern about the schedule and stuff. Did you feel like you kind of survived it okay or how, how tough was that getting through three races today? Uh, it, It's still tough, uh, but I feel like as a competitor, I, I let it go off my line and I, I know I got to run with these dudes, so I just got to clear my head and go and run. I can't think about it. I just got to do what I got to do. How much will that help you Friday having another day off? Uh, it'll be good. You know, it's time to recover, get my body back well, get my feet up under me, and just pray that God drop a blessing on me. You feel like you got that in you, a double, 100 and 200? Uh, I can't really tell. You know, that's two days away. You know, a lot can happen, so I just got to wait for my time. Were you disappointed in the 4 by one Oh, no. My, my guys ran good, and I'm, I'm proud of them. It was a great season, and now we just got to get back to the drawing board and come back strong next year. Does running that fast take anything out of you? Oh, uh, yeah. It, take, it takes a lot out of every runner. We run at a, a, a fast velocity, and at this level, we all running fast, so we all taking a beating on our bodies. But but as smart runners, we all know when to recover and just take it back to the drawing board and get ready for the next time to run. Looking at all the what you did in terms of time, did you kind of surprise yourself when you get back at those two races today? Uh, uh, not really, you know, because God, God do a lot of great things in mysterious ways. Uh, I know he dropped a blessing on me with his talent to run fast. And I know any given day he can drop a blessing on you at any given time. So I just go out there and compete like he want me to. And I know something good coming up on the board. I know you're a student of history. I mean, how would you assess yourself today? Uh, I feel like today was a good day. A uh, little technical things I can work on. Uh, probably recover a little better so I can have, uh, you know, more and more energy in my races. But yeah, I, got, I got another day, so whatever happens on Friday is what's going to happen. Did you actually shut it down at the end of the 200? Oh, oh yes, because I, I just knew if I kept running through, I was going to be tired. Uh, I, before the race, I ran out of uh, my asthma pump, so I was freaking out about that because I was still a little winded. So by grace of God that I got through. But now I just got to get my asthma pump refilled after this. And, Pray for, tomorrow, pray for tomorrow. Very, very successful here at Hayward Field. Anything special about being here competing? Oh, I love this track, and I, I just love track town because everybody, everybody's very supportive. It's like being at a home away from home when it comes to the track and field, it's being here. Because, like, you know, every other place is all about football and other sports, but when you come here, it feels like, you know, all the tension is on our track, uh, our, our track athletes. And we love that because, you know, nowhere else we really can't get that. So being here is, is just a blessing, and we love it here. I know you hear this before, I've read about that, but not football. Oh no! I mean, they asked me. I mean, it was, it was once a dream. You know, I always wanted to play football. I love football, but this what this is my talent, and God wanted me to do this, so I'm gonna go with my gun and stick the track. The 200, were you taking it easy the first 100? Were you trying because you'd already run the 100? Or uh, I was just trying to you know uh, conserve energy and just move through my race smoothly. Uh, and then when I seen the guys started pushing, I heard my coach in the stands. He was like, "Move!" So I had to move because I knew it was some great competitors, and I knew they wasn't gonna let up on me. So I had to bring what I had to bring. You can hear him in the stands. Yes, I can hear him. Uh, uh, it's, I mean, I, I feel like it's every athlete's instinct to clear their head, but only to be able to hear their coach. Every race, even with a loud crowd, I still hear him in the stands. I mean, this is the final 2003 and 990. It'd be like one of the greatest NCAAs ever. Oh, uh, what'd you say? If you'd run these times in the final, people would say this is one of the greatest NCAA performances ever. Uh, I feel like this year is probably going to be the greatest performances in finals in NCAA history because we, we dealing with competitors that's running under 10 seconds multiple times. You're dealing with people who ran 19 or on the 19 barrier. Great competitors. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to see a lot of things. A lot of records getting broke, a lot of fast times, a lot of world times, and just be expecting something great from all those competitors because we work hard and we're just ready to show the world what we can do. Thanks, Trayvon. Thanks, Trey.